Well, I mean, that's that's hard to follow. <clears throat> um, first thing I would like to say is, is uh, you know, first and foremost, I want to apologize to our viewers and the people that support us in our fan base for, uh, you know, for for being irresponsible with my platform. I want to apologize to our supporters and our fan base for putting our my faith in a coach that, like Terrence said, got fired for ESPN analyst in the middle of the season last year. I want to apologize for going to training camp and not necessarily giving y'all the full story because I guess I still had a bit of faith in Bryce Young and not necessarily Bryce Young as a whole, but just the offense as a whole and, and you know, how I felt as though it would develop. I want to apologize for telling y'all that this would be a top 11 offensive line in the NFL just based on what I saw last year. And that just simply hasn't been the case. Um, I want to apologize for gassing Scott Fitter up like he was something that he clearly is not. Um, I want to apologize for not continuing to bang the drum that Dave Tepper just simply ain't worth a fuck. Uh, you know, it, 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 I want to apologize for, for raising the bar and the expectation, saying that we would have bare minimum 10 wins. Because for whatever reason, I guess, not even for whatever reason, I was extremely misguided by the bullshit that this bullshit organization continues to feed us year in and year out. At some point, if you keep doing the same thing, you keep doing the same thing, and you it keeps yielding the same result, you would think that any logical human being, specifically the one that is a professional at what they do, would make some kind of adjustment. Um, for the past four or five, maybe even six years, I don't know how long Dave Tepper has been the owner of this team, <clears throat> but for the duration of his stint with the Carolina Panthers, he just year in and year out continues to feed us as a fan base the same bullshit. It's very, very clear to me that Dave Tepper values other things more so than seeing this football <coughs> team win. Um, Like I stated last week and the week before that, Dave Tepper has told us on multiple occasions he is not a football guy. So, like I said last go round, I don't understand why in the fuck he's in on every decision in regards to what's happening with the football team. Why nobody is in place taking care of that shit. And unfortunately, and I say this with all due respect, no, it can't fucking be Nicole. Because, with again, with all due respect, she don't got no fucking lineage in this shit. So, again, I just really want to apologize because I feel as though over the summer I was extremely irresponsible and I think that I was extremely misleading. And, you know, I would just say that my, my one excuse would be would, uh, is simply based on the fact that I fell for the bullshit the organization fed me. And a lot of us did. A lot of us did. I seen Dunk say the same thing. I seen a couple of other uh, you, uh, Panthers YouTube content creators say the same thing. A lot of us did. But at some point, it just simply becomes unbearable. Like I told y'all, and this is kind of to comment on what you were just saying about Frank Reich. It almost seems to a point now, as I went back and watched film today as well as yesterday, it almost seems to a point now that Frank Reich is trying to prove a point to somebody other than Bryce Young. It almost seems as though I told y'all a month and a half, maybe even two months ago, maybe even all the way back in April, that Frank Reich seemed to be the last one to hop on the Bryce Young train. Do you remember that conversation that we had? 
And I told you that it seemed as though in his press conference that Frank Reich still wasn't 100% uh, 100% sold on Bryce Young. And it seemed as though he was the last one to join that train. And you remember I went to the draft party and told you I felt the same way? Now it's showing his, his head to me. Because with the game that Bryce Young played on Sunday, and everybody knows if you watch this podcast at all, then you will be able to attest to what I'm about to say. And if you're new, this is how I give it up. Everybody knows that I've been extremely outspoken as well as vocal on Bryce Young and how I felt about him, his performances when we went to training camp, his performances during the preseason, his performance in the regular season up until this point. I came in here today and told my co-host, looked him dead in his eyes, and told him, after I watched film today, I felt as though personally this was the best game Bryce Young has played all season. This is the best that I've looked Bryce Young or I've seen Bryce Young look since he was in Alabama because he didn't even look this sharp to me back in training camp. It's very, very frustrating just because I don't want to drag this shit on and I have a lot of shit to get off my chest. But the same shit over and over and over again is very, very frustrating to see. It is. And then I, I, I see all of these Panthers fans, you know, expressing their frustration on social media and, you know, in my text messages and things of that nature, commenting on the quote-unquote sea of purple that you see on the broadcast. But then, I mean, my question to y'all would be, because I don't, you know, I don't really engage in that shit because that's, that's some other shit. We don't need to worry about what's going on in the stands. We need to worry about the product that we're getting week in and week out on the field. But my question to y'all would be, do y'all blame it? Do y'all blame the people that aren't showing up to Bank of America Stadium? Hold on. Let me make a comment real quick, not to cut you off. But also, y'all that are making those comments, where the fuck are y'all at every Sunday? Y'all worry about the sea of purple that you see in the stands. Oh, it looked like a Vikings home game. But most of y'all don't even come out and support your team. Why would they? It's your fucking team. And that's it. But, 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 Terrence, you're absolutely right. But why in the fuck would I continue to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars when I know the owner of this football franchise doesn't even value the team the same way that I do? I mean, that's fine to say. And that, although may be true, but you also shouldn't have the con, you shouldn't be commenting on the fact that you see more Vikings fans than Panthers fans if you watch from the crib every Sunday. Like, you're not showing up to make a difference. So, at that, in that same breath, then it shouldn't fucking matter. It's the second home game of the season. And already all hope is gone. Yeah. So, so for I'm, those people, not to cut you off, I'll give it right back to you. But to those people that have that issue, I hate to tell you, but it's only going to get worse. Like, that whole Hall of Honor shit, they bring in, you know, they bring in three legends – uh, to go into the Carolina Panthers Hall of Honor. Hate to tell y'all, but that shit going to look like a Texas game. It's going to look like a Texas home game, especially if they continue to play the way they've been playing. Especially if you continue to see C.J. Stroud been ball out the way you've been seeing him ball out. And the reason I'm so vocal about that is because you have people in the Facebook group asking other people, oh, did you watch the game? Like, trying to be funny type shit, like, Oh, did you watch the game? Did you see what I seen? And those people are actually in the stands and you sitting on your fucking couch. Yeah, so, I mean, that that's the feeling that I have towards the people who have comments about the stadium looking empty or it looks like another team home game. I mean, I understand that everybody is frustrated. I get that. I get that we're not playing a brand of football that we thought we would be playing coming into the season. I mean, I get all of that. But at the same time, Keep your comments short-lived if you're not doing nothing to help the situation, in my opinion. Fair enough. 